Hello everyone, this is Gamo Edits and welcome back to another video. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create this radiating duotone animation in Microsoft PowerPoint. So the first thing you need to do is to open your Microsoft PowerPoint. So I'm using Microsoft PowerPoint 365. So I have a set of a blue gradient background. Now add the picture of your choice. In this tutorial, I will use a photo of Mr. Beast. Resize the photo and we will remove the background. To remove the background, just click on the picture. Go to the picture format tab and click the remove background. However, you might notice that the photo isn't precisely cut out. To fix this, add lines to outline the areas you want to keep for the cut out. Once you're done, click the Keep Changes. Next is to crop the picture to remove any empty space. And after that, we will resize the photo and paste it here. After that, we will duplicate this photo 5 times as I want to create 5 different duotone pictures. Now to apply the duotone color filter and the film green effect, to do this click on the photo, go to the picture format then color, and choose the desired color. And after that apply the film green effect. Repeat this process for the other photos using different duotone colors. I will apply the duotone colors of blue, orange, gray, yellow, and lastly a green duotone color. Make sure to apply the film green effect as well to each of them. Once done, we will edit the names in the selection pane. And the first thing we need to do is to move the unfiltered photo to the front and then rename the other photos based on their colors. This will help us avoid confusion later when we want to enlarge specific photos. Afterward, we will select all the pictures and ensure they are aligned perfectly in the center and middle. This will help us achieve precise alignment. By using this feature, we can automatically adjust the spacing between each photo to achieve seamless alignment. This will effectively hide the duotone pictures under the unfiltered ones. Once the alignment is done, we will duplicate this slide. This time, we will choose the photos based on the selection pane, starting with the color blue, we will enlarge the photo to extend slightly beyond the slide boundaries. We will just adjust it like this and make sure that it is centered. We will follow the same procedure for the other colors. And repeat this process for the remaining colors ensuring that they are distinguishable in size or gradually decreasing in size. And now, as for the unfiltered photo, we can make it smaller. Now that we are done setting this up, we can apply the morph transition on both slides. This transition will create a radiating animation effect for the tutorial. And here is a preview of the tutorial's progress so far. As you can see, the animation is smooth and the radiating effect adds a dynamic touch for this presentation. Now let's enhance the design further by adding additional text elements. For instance, we can include the name Mr. Beast since this tutorial is about him. Afterward, we will apply a bold font style, enlarge the text, add shadows, and adjust the color. Additionally, we will introduce a 3D rotation effect. Under the shape format options, we will access the text effect menu to incorporate the 3D rotation perspective. We will slightly reduce its size and rename it accordingly in our selection pane. Next is we will move this text element to a new layer position between the photos. Now we're going to duplicate this text box. And this time we will apply its opposite perspective effect 
and make sure we're going to make it a little bit smaller perfect now we're going to adjust its layer as well in between the photos just like what we did with the first text now we're going to rename it on the layer so this will be our text too and now we're going to copy this both text onto the previous slide or the first slide make sure to apply the same layering for this text just like we did in the slide 2 place the duplicated text outside the box for the morph effect so let's move this mr beast text there and this one here so it will be morphed from that direction once we transition from the first slide to the second slide for the finishing touches slightly enlarge all the features on the first slide and there you have it the final output of this tutorial so that's basically it i hope you learned something new from this video if you have some questions clarifications or suggestions just comment down below again this is gamma edits and thank you for watching